There were a lot of people who cared a lot about the company to make sure that it was sustainable. I had the great fortune of, you know, working for Mr. Hoare and Virgil Handy, Bobby Keith, my father, Wayne Hoare. All of them were very different personalities. I felt like I had the great opportunity of learning from all of them. You ask about mentors in general, I mean, it's absolutely critical. I, I feel like I was one of the most fortunate men in the industry because I got to see all of those different people. You absorb a lot of things by watching people handle problems, and it's so much easier to learn when you're able to absorb and to watch it and experience it than somebody teach you. You know, one of the things that I remember too is the different kinds of people, you know, Bobby Keith being a very field-oriented person, uh, Wayne Hoare being very estimating-oriented. My dad was business development and estimating-oriented. You had other people like Mr. Hoare who were all about the overall organizational numbers. Each one of those people had different talents and different personalities, and you got to see which one worked at which time. Well, in writing the core values, my goal was to capture the spirit of the organization in a way that all of us could buy into and agree to. We got it right. People agreed deep down in their hearts that that's who we were and that they wanted to live up to that. And to say, it's okay to go try some things and maybe fail, but try again because we're relentless. And so now that we have multiple offices around the country, we can look at each other and have confidence that they're gonna make the same decisions for the right reasons.